us know what you're thinking. We want to hear your thoughts on this. Let's go ahead and move into the next topic. Um, Next one, Andy Dalton signs with the Dallas Cowboys on Saturday afternoon. Uh, I hit you guys up with this. You know, we were having a discussion. I tossed it in a little little premature. I I ended our earlier conversation too early. I apologize for that, but I saw it, and I kind of freaked out at first because this was not one of the names that I thought was going to jump in and grab him. But it is a place that needed a backup quarterback uh, pretty substantially, I think. Well, now, hang on now. They they need a starting quarterback. Uh, agree. As of right now, he has not signed his franchise tender. So the, the Dalton contract is one year, $7 million, and I, it's either 4 or $3 million. Three, $3 million guaranteed. guaranteed. Okay. Um, and, and, and basically what it is, it's a $3 million deal unless he becomes the starter. Got you. Okay. Which is insane. You're going to get a starting quarterback for $7 million at his caliber. That's pretty strong. Yes. And obviously, I think it's a hometown deal. Uh, he yes. played at TCU. Yes. You know, it, he's going back home, trying to figure things out. But it's only a one-year contract. You know, right. he, he could end yeah, up. One-year prove it deal. I like those. I like those. Yeah, yeah. I, I would I like I would him for the player. That. I like him for the coach, uh, for the team. Yeah, 100%. Now, it's, it's obviously, if you can get a long-term deal, make sure that you're protected, all that. Obviously, you would like to have that. But, but he's made a ton of money. His last yes. deal was one of the big, big, big deals that people were like, is he really worth it? And then they hashed out the money where, well, very little of it's guaranteed, but shit, he played through the whole thing. Yeah, he he most certainly did. He, now, they weren't very good at the end, but he, he got all of his money. Uh, he performed relatively well, you know, right. relatively speaking, of course. I I look at this as two different things. One, if they are going to sign Dak, they needed a good backup because you never know nowadays. And and if you don't have a just a decent backup, I mean, you saw what happened to the Steelers last year. Everything can fall apart on you. If you've already got all the other pieces in place, you got to have that one spot. Now, on the other side, is this possibly a negotiating tool with Dak Prescott? You 100%. know, they've they've already got Dalton signed and done. And they've been going back and forth over numbers with Prescott for months, over a year now? Now, I have a buddy of mine who is a massive Mississippi State fan and Cowboy fan. He has been a Cowboy fan before Dak got there, so that was just the most obnoxious marriage the world could ever find for me um, with him. But he is under the understanding that Dak is not demanding 40 years, a uh, $40 million a year. It's now at $35 million which is kind of where the high-end quarterbacks are getting, but whatever. And uh, and the argument is the Cowboys want to lock him up for five years, and he only wants four and wants to be able to re-up after that. Um, I don't know how much information he actually has, where he's getting it from. I haven't kind of heard or seen any of that stuff. I do know he's pretty connected to Mississippi State, and there are people that he knows that knows Dak. Um, so if he's got any real information, it, that that's coming from Dak's side. Uh, I'm going to tell you, man, if I was Jerry, I would stick to my guns. Now, it, you know, if we come to a more reasonable number, then I'm not I'm not worried about it at all. But if he's demanding $40 million a year, and I've put this unbelievable team together, and I think Andy Dalton can drive this boat, I'm going to let Andy drive it. Oh, yeah. And, and, and I'm going to say, brother, you can go get your 40 somewhere else. Because, uh, you know, our boy TJ from from uh, from Tampa Bay has told us, you know, and he he said it multiple times, and he was right. The Bucks were bidding against themselves for Jameis, and as soon as Jameis became a free agent, nobody wanted him. Now, I don't think Dak is Jameis. I think he is substantially more valuable than Jameis. But I don't know that the question, was, though. Yeah, I mean, is is he? All the spots are pretty much filled up. Like if there may he be was one a or two free spots. Free agent quarterback right now. People would make a spot for him, but you bet your ass he ain't getting thirty five million dollars from no, anybody. Not in the slightest. McKinnon jumps anybody. in on Facebook. He said something I saw earlier today. If the Cowboys so choose, they could rip up that franchise tag from Dak anytime before he signs it because he hasn't signed it yet. Yeah, and they could say, "See you." No team is it's picking. A, it's him up. an offer. But if he doesn't sign that offer at some point in time, they have the right to to renege the offer. Yeah. No, you're because right. Because it hasn't been signed. He said uh, no team is picking up for the money he's asking for right now, especially during the pandemic. 
the ball was yeah. officially in his court to take a contract or leave it. Um, yep. Matt jumps in. He said, could be a future trading point. Show he has something left in the tank and then trade him for someone they actually need going forward. Now, it, this could be insurance against a DAC injury. Uh, this could be the, a The problem a with thing. trading in quarterbacks, it just doesn't happen very often. Well, and the value. Like it, they don't have a lot of value. And here's the reason why. You got to you gotta find the dummy, all right, like, like Bill O'Brien, that's willing to pay you the draft picks and pay the money. Yeah. Because you never get that guy for nothing, okay? You're going to pay a lot in draft picks to get them because they're valuable to the franchise. Or, and then after you pay a lot in draft picks, Bill O'Brien's case, he, he went and got Tunstall. You got two first-round picks for Tunstall, two. That's a massive haul for a guy. Then had to turn around and sign him to a sixty million dollar three year deal. Yeah, that, so, so so you so give you up capital twice and, yeah. for the same guy. Yeah, it so it depends on whether or not they're actually worth it. And yeah. even if, if even if Andy Dalton is able to show in a backup role that he does have a lot left in the tank, how much is that worth to somebody? I doubt it's going to be that much. And in the middle of the season. You know, maybe people are more desperate, uh, desperate than they normally would be. But the I, only way you would be able to trade Dalton is if, because it's all, he's only going to go to a team that's competing, is yeah. if the Cowboys somehow fall out of competing for a title, they're going to be good. They're going to be in the in the NFC East race the entire year, if not front runners for the NFC East the entire year. So they can't justify trading their backup to a contender. Yeah. But the only person who would trade for him is somebody who's a contender and their quarterback goes down. Yeah, no, that's true. Uh, Matt jumps in and says, how long did John Kitna stay in the league? And he was horrible. Yeah, this is a little bit different situation. Like, Kitna didn't make a ton of money towards the end of his career, but he latched on to teams in the offseason, kind of the way that Dalton just did. Uh, But he would latch on for, you know, a couple million dollars a year over a three-year deal. It was... Hey, we just need insurance. Basically, he was. I think an insurance he's talking team. about Kitna as the OC of the Cowboys, right? Ah, uh, maybe. I thought he was talking about Kitna as the uh, as the quarterback. I think he's referring to John as the maybe OC, so. but I could be wrong. Uh, who knows? Maybe Matt can explain it here in just a little bit. In the meantime, though, uh, we'll go on and jump into the next topic. Um, our third topic here. Let's see if I can get it to to pop up for me. Um, and it won't. Uh, let's see. Uh, Matt said uh, he ran out of the back of the end zone. So, well, okay. there you go. <laughs> All right. 